October 2015. Expensive items have gone missing from one of the richest players in Grotopia history. Chaos came up and fear began to spread. A moderator started scamming and nothing was safe. This is the tragic story of Pixel Morph, aka Morpheus, the moderator who turned evil. Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of GT History, the video series where I talk about some of the craziest moments of the most capitalist MMO out there, Grotopia. If you play Grotopia, you probably know that moderators are incredibly powerful. Not only can they ban players, but they also are able to access other people's worlds, even if they are locked. That is also why moderators are always carefully selected and only a few players actually become a moderator. But what if a moderator abuses his powers and starts stealing items? And that is exactly what this video is about. I interviewed the moderator who did this, and trust me, his reasons for doing so will surprise you. But before we get into it, I just wanted to thank everybody of you guys. The channel is growing very fast and you are an awesome community. I recently checked the communities of some other Grotopia YouTubers and their comment section is just flooded with giveaways and bots. With you, the Genie team, I can have actual conversations in the comments or in-game and I really appreciate that. So thanks for that. And if you haven't joined the Genie team, go and do that right now nice. and click the subscribe button. But only if you want to see more quality Grotopia content. <laughs> Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So who was Pixel Morph? Pixel Morph is an OG Grotopia player who is also known as Morpheus. He is the player who actually sponsored the Crimson Eagle Wings, which you probably know as some noob item in Grotopia. In October of 2013, he became a moderator alongside some other well-known names. But just three weeks later, he was removed from the team. The reason was that his sister accessed his account while he was at work. She didn't do anything against the rules, but Hamumu found out. And since Pixelmorph couldn't keep his account secure, he got removed from the team. But that wasn't the end of his moderator career. Two years later, in 2015, he messaged Solorian, Hamumu's wife, who was also the head of the moderator team, if he could get a second chance as a mod. Surprisingly, one month later, in July of 2015, he joined the moderator team again. And he became the first moderator to get his powers back after being demoted. Players loved Pixel Morph. He was active in the community and he did his job very well. For about two months, everything went fine, but chaos was about to come. It started when in October of the same year, a player by the name Pig Farmer noticed that items have gone missing from the world SideFX. The only player with access to that world was SideFX himself, who got banned a few months earlier. He was super rich. I actually did a video on Side. It is linked in the top right corner of the screen. So go ahead and watch it if you want to. Anyways, how could items go missing from a world if the owner was banned? Players in the forums argued that Pig Farmer might have made a mistake and no items actually went missing. Eventually, the threat got closed, but that wasn't the end. A few days later, another threat was made, this time by Washi Paul. He said, So I was visiting Cytofix and I realized some items went missing and also word was jammed. Is it a mod or a developer who took the items? Pretty sure this is weird. Items do not go missing suddenly. And as to what I recall, there were two calves there. And now there is only one. This time, the threat didn't get closed. And after a while, Hamumu himself answered. Yes, it is easy to find out who did it. It was Pixelmorph. He's been permanently banned from Grotopia accordingly. This highlights the kinds of things we've been trying to say about moderators. We were really questioning rehiring Morpheus, and we did it anyways, and as usual it came back to bite us. This reply 
caused many more players to make threats, saying Morpheus apparently stole their items too. And things got pretty wild from there on. But when I interviewed Pixelmorph, he told me that he only stole items from side of X. But why did he do it? Was he really so greedy? Or is there another reason? This is where the tragedy of the story comes to light. Pixelmorph wasn't a bad guy. He loved Grotopia and the players. The problem was, he loved Grotopia too much. Being a moderator in Grotopia, however, takes up a lot of time. And because he joined the military, he couldn't afford spending that much time on a game. However, he was so in love with Grotopia, he was addicted to it. He tried reaching out to Solorian so they could find a solution for his problem, but she didn't reply. With the head of the moderators ignoring him, he simply saw no other way to get out of his situation. That's why he decided to consciously break the rules and steal items from a popular world in order to get banned. His hope was that by getting banned from the game, he couldn't play anymore and therefore could get rid of his addiction. It worked exactly how he planned it out. First of all, he said goodbye to all of his Grotopia friends and then he went on to Cytofix world and stole all the items since he had full access to the world as a moderator. He is still banned to this day, but he is still somewhat active in the Grotopia community, such as the Discord server. But don't expect to see him in game anytime soon. Wow, what a twist. This story just goes to show that you should keep everything in moderation. Even such simple things as playing a game. Things can get out of hand pretty quickly, so don't overdo it. One thing, however, you can never get enough of are my videos. <laughs> Just look at them! So many interesting videos! GT history everywhere! Side effects, Washipol, you heard them in this video. So go ahead and check them out. <laughs> what a smooth transition. But jokes aside, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you did so. I will answer. See you in the next video. Peace out.